The mayor of Seattle have both come up with ways to help residents, businesses and nonprofits avoid being evicted. Now, the way each go about doing that is different, but the goal is the same here to provide a little assurance in a very uncertain time. West Seattle's Husky Deli is operating much like it has for 88 years, steadily filling orders for ice cream and sandwiches, despite some obvious changes. You gotta be able to have your comfort food in these times. Owner Jack Miller says they're still busy with takeout and delivery. The open sign on his window, a severe juxtaposition to the paper on his neighbors. It's a hard time as a business owner because you wanna take care of your help. I mean, they're your people. And if you can't work them and pay them, you worry about them paying their rent and feeding themselves and all that. Both the city of Seattle and the King County Sheriff's Office recognize the hardships for tenants and with different orders, they're offering relief. Mayor Jenny Durkin has issued a temporary and immediate moratorium on evictions, both residential and commercial. The King County Sheriff's Office says landlords can still serve notices, but that they won't execute them in court. In most, if not all cases, you need to have an eviction notice or a 14 day notice uh, in order to access emergency rental assistance. That's Brett Waller with the Washington Multifamily Housing Association. His group applauds the Sheriff's Office, but has concerns about Seattle's moratorium worried that if there's no initial eviction notice by the landlord, the tenant's access to rental assistance is limited. We're actively working with the city to help address that issue so that, you know, uh, when when this crisis is over with, um, that tenants aren't receiving notices for multiple months of rent and having multiple months of rent due. I can't imagine kicking people out at a time like this. Back at Husky, Jack is on board with efforts to help workers like his have some sense of security. It's kind of like the sky is falling if you're not, if, but you got to keep your head and, and we'll all get through this. So a couple of things about the Seattle moratorium. So tenants are still expected to pay rent and if they have trouble doing so, landlords are then encouraged to come up with some sort of reasonable payment plan. So again, that tenant is not stuck with a huge rent bill when those moratoriums are lifted. And in the meantime, anyone who is having financial difficulties right now because of COVID-19, they're encouraged to reach out to the Washington State uh, Employment Security Department. They'll help you match you up to resources. They'll help you out for different situations. Live in Seattle, Vanessa Mishanya, King 5 News.